Here we go. Today we've got the uh, used 2018 Keystone Summer 2570. This bad boy is a little over 29 feet long, 10 feet high, and 8 feet wide. Now it's a full-size travel trailer capable of being towed behind a half-ton pickup. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Now as we swing around to the back, we have a huge picture window across the back. That is your living area uh, behind the window there. So we've got, it's a little over eight feet wide. We do have the accessory of the bumper grill mount. That's that here. And then we have four electronic stabilizer bars across the back. We've got a full size spare tire mounted on the rear bumper as well. And also this one does have the backup camera prep package. Now, as we swing around to the driver's side, notice we have a slide out on this side. That's going to be your dining area. We've got privacy glass all the way around and some of the windows such as the dining window does have the sliding feature so you can open it up and let fresh air flow through now as we dive down take a look at our wheel tire package these are a 16 inch cast aluminum wheel dual axles with electric brakes and um, leaf spring suspension now we do have an outside shower so you can hose off the kids right outside here we do have a 20 or i'm sorry a 52 gallon fresh water tank 69 gallon gray and a 39 gallon black water tank. I love the graphics and the light gray and the dark gray and the black contrast exterior. Now here on the side, we do have our landline wire water hookups to our city water and such, but we also have a large storage compartment there. Unfortunately, it looks like it might be locked. So we're not gonna be able to get inside and show you that. So as we swing around to the front of the Springdale Summer Series, we do have a 6,000 pound weight, 1,600 pound cargo capacity, and then a 615 pound tongue weight. Thank God we have two LP tanks, a dual battery platform, and the power lift as well. So that's gonna make it super easy to connect it to the back of your pickup. Very, very little effort to get that done. Now, as I mentioned, we do have this extra storage that travels the full width of the cabin. Um, let's check and see if this one's open here. I don't think it is. No, nope, this one's not open, but it does give you a lot of cargo storage and you can access that not only from the other side and this side, but you can also get underneath from the bed in the uh, master suite, if you will. Now we do have two exterior speakers, which are controlled by the interior sound system. We do have uh, two sets of these uh, retractable three-step aluminum steps, make it easy to get up and in the uh, cabin. There's your furnace, there's your hot water heater, and then we do have two 12-volt exterior outlets as well, so you can plug in your uh, electronics and such while you're out enjoying the uh, camping environment. We do have two doors, they're weatherproof, and they also have screens in there as well. And then both of them do operate on the same key. Well, let's go ahead and uh, dive inside and check it out. So diving in inside the 2570 series, we do have a forced air heating system, overhead sound system. There's your speakers up there for that and overhead lighting, of course. There's dual lounge chairs here with your coffee table and a storage compartment. Up above here, we have our cabinetry, solid wood doors and facing on those cabinets. And then over on the uh, panel here is the controls for our power awning and our retractable steps. Here's a quick first look at the great room, if you will. And uh, there's always a ton of storage inside our travel trailers, and this is no exception. So down below here, you can see we've got some slide out doors with roller bearings on those doors so they open and close nicely cabinets up above there's one of your heat vents up above as well and there's our 13.5 btu air conditioning system for the great room so our uh, dining room does seat six quite comfortably you notice we have our uh, mini blinds our valances above there We've got some additional storage up above here with the, uh, with the uh, frosted glass. There's our LED TV and entertainment center. Also our sound system there. 
uh, a place for your um, storage of your DVDs and what have you. Another storage compartment just above there. So like I say, always plenty of storage inside our travel trailers. Now as we take a look at our kitchen, uh, galley style kitchen, we've got a huge uh, kind of a farm style sink. It's a porcelain sink with a sprayer nozzle and I love the high arching uh, faucets. Makes it easier to clean pots and pans. Additional storage up above for your dried goods and or your dishes. We've got a stainless steel convection oven. Very clean. This is a used unit and I got to tell you the folks took great care of this one. We do have a three burner stove and then we also have some additional controls and 12 volt power ports there as well. Uh, down below we do have our gas range so you can go ahead and cook a turkey in there. There's a nice storage compartment here for your sponges and garbage cans and all kinds of places to put stuff. You can see some uh, storage drawers on the end as well. So plenty of places to uh, to stash away your cooking utensils and what have you. Love this great room. There's plenty of room to walk around, turn around. The color combination of the dark and the light wood and the uh, dark and light sofas look great. Let's go ahead and back up here and we'll take a quick look in the refrigerator. So we've got a frost-free refrigerator with your veggie trays down below. And then up above here, we do have our, our uh, freezer. So you're going to be able to bring along your, your frozen and your fresh goods and keep them uh, cold for the entire trip. Let's go ahead and uh, take a quick look and dive into the, uh, into the restroom here. So we've got, of course, our vanity with our sink, and then we've got a frosted shower. Now this shower will easily hold somebody that's over six feet tall. We've got a foot flush toilet here. Again, this is a used unit and it really hasn't been used very much at all. Nice linen cabinet there. There's our forced air for our heating system. Really a nice shower with the overhead ventilation and the skylight to bring in that natural light and uh, plenty of room for a full size adult in there. You won't be cramped whatsoever. And then uh, finally, we do have some additional uh, storage here below the sink and access to our plumbing as well. The one thing about travel trailers is things do break, they do wear out. So having access to different areas like the, the plumbing is super handy. Here's your medicine cabinet with, of course, a mirror on there, towel bars, uh, 12 volt outlets. So plenty of places to hang and store and plug stuff in inside the 2570. Now, as we head down the hallway, here's our second entrance. On the left, there's our thermostat, and we head into the master suite here. So this is going to be a queen size bed with storage on both sides. And you can see we have clothes rods there, little storage up above for sweaters and, and your clothing, if you will. Overhead lighting. We've got mini blinds and some nice storage here underneath. And that actually allows you to access all the storage that you um, saw on the outside, those doors on the outside that I wasn't able to open up. That's where the access is there. And then we have four large storage cabinets up front here. Um, again, there's no shortage of storage on a 2570. Hey, if you're getting value out of the video and you appreciate the work I do, feel free to uh, hit the thumbs up. If you'd like to learn more about this particular U2018, please visit uh, wisconsinrvworld.com to get more information. Uh, feel free to ask for Christy at the dealership and she can help you and answer all of your questions and uh, help you get into your new RV.